Good morning. It is seven o'clock and welcome to our new show, the only breakfast programme live from the very heart of Westminster. Back to work and school for many of us today with new measures in place. Term time starts again too for MPs with the government facing some tough questions over how it plans to keep us safe in the face of a potential second wave of the virus. On the show with us today is the Schools Minister, Nick Gibb, and Labour's Education Minister as well. Plus, as rising COVID cases threaten Portugal's travel corridor, we'll speak to the World Health Organization's Regional Director for Europe, Dr Hans Klug, to ask where next. And paddling his way into the record books, we'll speak to the adventurer, Jordan Wiley, who's attempting to circumnavigate Great Britain. It's Tuesday, the 1st of September. Back to business. Thousands of school children and office workers set to return across England after a turbulent summer. The Education Secretary admits it's been challenging. Facing the future, Sky News visits one of the hospitals worst hit by COVID-19, where staff are bracing themselves for a winter resurgence. Fractious protests take centre stage in the US election as Joe Biden calls Donald Trump a toxin. And the president appears to defend a teen vigilante accused of a double murder. He was trying to get away from them, I guess, it looks like. And he fell, and then they very violently attacked him. Diabetes diet, how the NHS hopes soup and shakes could help some patients with type 2 diabetes. And today is the first day of the meteorological autumn, but will some of the summer weather hang on for today? Find out the details with me later in the programme. Hello, everyone. Good morning to you. It's a day of new beginnings for all of us after a summer uh, when the government had U-turns, local lockdowns, travel quarantines and exam results chaos, MPs returned today to a full inbox with thousands of children heading back to school across England and Wales. The Education Secretary admits it's been a challenging few months. We'll be checking if the Schools Minister, Nick Gibb, has done all of his homework in just a moment. But first, Tom Rayner has this report. <laughs> 